In this video, I want to quickly cover what happens when you try to ping localhost from your containers. Now, normally this is not an issue, but in our case, we have two containers that handle web requests. One is Nginx and one is PHP. These are separate containers. If our PHP code happens to ping localhost for a web request, it actually will not work. And the reason that won't work is because localhost for a web request within the PHP container isn't listening on anything. In other words, only the Nginx container is listening on a web port like port 80. PHP is not. It's only listening on port 9000 for fast CGI requests. So if our PHP code is going to ping localhost, it's going to do that within the PHP container, but nothing is listening there. So let's see that actually in action. So I have two classes that run tests here in my PHP code. The first one here uses Laravel's visit and post and related helpers to make fake web requests. Now these are not actual HTTP requests, so these actually work when we test them. This creates request objects and then passes them into Laravel without ever actually making a real web request. So if I do make tests to run my unit tests there, it's going to run those and they'll all be passing. Now let's head over to my fictitious API test. I'll get rid of the stuff that just asserted true and returned. And now this is actually going to run a test using a Guzzle HTTP client. And it's going to try to ping localhost and see that it gets a 200 status code response for that HTTP request. What we're going to see here is an exception. We see I have that E up there already. So fail to connect to localhost and port 80, connection refused because the PHP container does not have port 80 listening to anything. So we know our containers are within a network and that network is this AppNet one. And we've seen in previous videos that when we have all of our containers inside of a network, they can all speak to each other using their container name. So the database container is referenced by hostname DB, Nginx referenced by hostname Nginx, PHP referenced by hostname PHP, and the same for Redis. So over here, if I just change localhost to Nginx, this should work because this is going to make an HTTP request to hostname Nginx, and that is going to resolve correctly because of Docker's DNS internal magic to the container that is running Nginx, which is listening on port 80 for web requests. So I've made that change. I saved it. Let's head on over here and run make test again. And we can see already that it's going to pass. I have no exception there. Four tests, six assertions, all okay. So what we can see here is that if you need to ping quote unquote localhost, you may not actually be able to use localhost if the container running your code is not the same container that is also listening for web requests. Now, a popular combination that you see people do is to actually put Nginx and PHP FPM in the same container, in which case pinging localhost would actually work because you'd have Nginx running alongside PHP and an HTTP request to localhost will therefore work because you have Nginx there listening on port 80. So it's just a little gotcha, but if you ever do find yourself in the situation where you are pinging localhost, now you have an idea of why you might see connection refused errors using localhost.